Hey, 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 guys. Those are my parents, and I'm in harsh lighting. <laughs> it makes me seem very white. Have you noticed uh, in this time in, of love in the, in the days of Corona virus, we have to do social distancing, which is essentially an oxymoron. Jumbo shrimp, social distancing. And what an opportunity to reset. So let me try to reset the lighting here. Okay. That's better, right? Ah, the stones I'm wearing are Moldavite Labradorite. And this is a Q-Link, which is programmable. And you use it um, with intentionality to create a... Um, strong electromagnetic field, receptivity. Uh, you also do that with uh, Merkaba, <clears throat> which I, I learned well before fly, flying rainbow lasagna, but Aurora of uh, flying rainbow lasagna um, is, I consider, the specialist in its architectural form. It's completion of sh sacred geometry going from a, um, you know, tetrahedron, three-sided, you know, together um, in this shape to an octahedron to the flying rainbow lasagna because it loops inside out. So everything's inside out. Inside out. Let's start off with toilet paper. What's the history of toilet paper, and what's the big deal? And what does that alert you to? That people are shitting their brains out? That this is shit? My hair is drying. I haven't had any interruptions in my normal bowel movements, and I always have plenty of um, toilet paper on hand, so fortunately between my guy and I, we ha we're fine, fine, fine. Here's to that. He and I... <laughs> He and I are little lovebirds. Now this is a design that's printed on recycled paper and you can get it at papayaart.com. I'm not selling this product, um, but I showed it to you just to show you that uh, lovebirds, you know, give each other cards and words of affection. And hey, why not do that now? Why not change the way you've been living? This is Reset. This is reset. This is an opportunity. There are no distractions besides the fucking virus, which isn't a fucking virus at all. It's a virus that's fucking with us. Let's just see if I have any information to tell you other than social distancing is the new oxymoron following uh, right behind jumbo shrimp. <laughs> and and the other one is I uh, crown my parents. You know, they're these guys <laughs> are resilient. Nineteen eighty-five, yeah. And I'm like, they're not worried in the least. They're from strong stock. They eat well. They're not into the fear. They're not into the fear. The fear is a frequency you have to tune out of. Otherwise, you get sucked into it. Because I could feel it. When I tuned into it, I could feel it. And I was like, wow. That's a shitty rabbit hole to go down. The what ifs with the what ifs. The mind. Da -da 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 -da. Strengthen your willpower. Strengthen your willpower. The news is giving you information... And the only thing you need to be doing when you listen to the news is why are they giving me this information? What's the significance and the importance of this little juicy nugget trying to lead me along a trail that they want me to go on? Right? And even the alternative news. Alarm, alarm, alarm! If there's an alarm situation going on and they want you to buy their stuff, run clear into something completely different, which is practicality, <laughs> vitamins, 
strengthening your body, finding out what herbs support the cardiovascular system. You know, there's a run on herb herbs now, not the uh, ganja type, no. I'm sure they're running that well, as well, I'm sure. Um, we'll put a second here, yeah. What there's a run on is the herbal remedies that people actually can uh, creatively create, put together, concoct, to um, strengthen themselves, to make them resilient to this. All of us are resilient to it, but are we also resilient to the fear and the alarmism? So I'm looking at this as an opportunity. Opportunity and chaos are the same thing in Chinese. I've been told, but I don't read the characters, so I wouldn't know. However, uh, I do know that we live in interesting times, and supposedly that is a Chinese curse. Also, we are in the year of the rat. What does that mean? Anybody? What does that mean? The rat was the wise teacher with the three ninja turtles. Or was it four? <laughs> it was the three musketeers, that's right. And it was the four ninja turtles. Trivia question. Name the four ninja teenage ninja turtles. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Caravaggio? And who, Monet? <laughs> I just, Donatello! They were all Italians. The rat, the year of the rat. And the four teenage mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> Named after Italian masters. Leonardo, Donatello, wasn't it Michelangelo? Was it Raphael? <laughs> and the turtle happens to be a symbol that some Native American tribes have for Mother Earth. Mother Earth symbol. Like I said, my hair is drying and I got some sun in my eyes today. I went and talked to my boyfriend. My, my, he's my etheric husband. We got married on 12-12, <laughs> etherically, rather than through City Hall. Um, but he was smoking a cigarette, and it was getting in my face, and I have a small patio, and so I had to get out of there, and I got irritated with him because he's trying to quit smoking, so he lights it like an incense, so it burns. <laughs> That's what these... S smokers trying to quit and th this is what I said you're gonna have they're gonna shut down the restaurants and bars you're not gonna be able to do the habitual pattern that you always do which is go from work to the restaurant and bar in which you discuss politics and watch the television set and preferring one station of the other I'm not gonna get into politics and I'm not gonna tell you who they're for um, what I am going to say is that he keeps his rational head on and both sides of the so-called party or the both so-called sides, which are actually all the same, pit you against each other, um, they are representative, they're representing each other's different teams. <laughs> go this, go that, go red, go blue, you know. Go team, fight, fight! Ideology, which is the biggest separator of them all. <laughs> so, I'm going to fix my hair. This is a hair fixing moment. It's starting to, start, it's starting to, I henna it. So on this end, you can see how I have this beautiful auburn color. And then, see, that's, this is my natural hair color at the roots. So, I'm going to henna it. Uh, henna non-toxic and it's very inexpensive but more than anything it's very ritualistic so I do it once a month or once every month and a half or once every two months depending upon how I'm feeling and how
how much I want to um, change the color of my hair and how much I'm enjoying the, the grow out. And since the current, the, curtain, the current acceptability of the hair is root showing, it wasn't at one time, see? Social constructs change. Acceptable norms change. What will be this new acceptable norm? <laughs> Our new normal is going to be different than, than, than what we've been experiencing now. Right? I mean, how are restaurants and bars going to operate? Well, for now, let's stop the conjecturing and the what-ifs and the what's, what are we going to do when. Let's instead, well, I'm doing this. I, I'm looking at it as... Um, I said I noticed all my clients. The last day I saw somebody was on St. Patty's Day. Um, that was March 17, 2020. It's now the vernal equinox, which is equal day, equal night. We're heading into this, the greater seeding cycle of the pagan calendar of um, the cycle of the earth. So we're sowing seeds. What you sow into the earth, what you sow into your life, what you create into the future force field of your manifest destiny, which you decide, you do now. Are you going to sow fear? <laughs> are you going to sow fear or are you going to sow, oh wow, look, I get to, like two weeks off or I get to work from home. Like, people are working from home. I discovered what my uh, etheric husband, my guy, uh, is like working and what he has to do. So I got insight into him. It's been wonderful. Except for today, when he's very stressed out because he's buying into the cockamamie more than I am. Because I'm seeing through it. Um, and he also was watching the financial market like I'm not. Because I told him the 1% already got out. The elites already got out. They already cashed in the day, like well before the Monday, and I told them, and he he put things into cash. He listened. Finally, someone listening. <laughs> my parents don't really listen. My dad does. So look at this, okay? Um, I bounce around when I talk, and I, I'm I'm too lazy, and I haven't got enough hours in my life, or minutes in it, to like go through and listen to my talk and like, bing, minute mark here, talk about this. Instead, I expect you either enjoy a long conversation, especially now with cabin fever, or you um, don't enjoy a long conversation. Or you find a long conversation challenging because your mind wants to jump ahead. So treat it like it's meditation or something, and like at least listen to somebody else and their perspective on things, right? Yeah. <laughs> a bee. There's bees out there. They're buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. They're like, there's flowers growing. I've got um, a beautiful shrubbery right outside where my bedroom is, and it smells gloriously like flowers, and it wafts in. Well, right now I have to close it because allergies are in season. <laughs> allergies, which is going to have people going, oh, I have the sniffles, maybe I have corona. It's like, no. <laughs> oh, man, that's the crown jewel. Oh, no, you don't have corona. <laughs> I like Dos Equis better than corona anyway. Who doesn't? So I drew this in 1970. What that, that, that make me? First grader? I was six, so, yeah, I'm wearing a crown, and it's the salicylic mushroom explaining things to me and letting me know what's life. Here's the blue light, here's the black light. Boom, 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 there's three of us, we are getting rid of it. Yay, more love for everybody. We can grow again. We can grow again spiritually and personally. Reset. Push your reset button. <laughs> Take this time to yourself.
That's what I'm going to do. Just sort of like, you know, plug out a digital world. I'm going to do that. Um, read some books. Uh, uh, but I can't control my partner and I can't put... Excuse me, I have to burp. I have my beer. You can't do that in social circumstances anymore. <laughs> you might get shot. Um, we'll go into the people might start waking out later, but that's again follow, going into the, the field of fear rather than in the field of possibilities that this is actually a new reset. That if the whole world got to take a two-week vacation, well, at least America, where I'm, I'm from, the U.S. of A., that the corporately owned, the corporations own America, and now we get to see that all the tools we really need, um, uh, things to protect us from our own vulnerability, all the hospital supplies were made in China. Because <laughs> greedy corporations got away with not having to pay taxes or whatever it is that they finangled, because we all know dead entities are the only ones who don't pay taxes. <laughs> They don't play, they don't pay. They play. They play, let's fuck you over, oh little person on the planet. Which is what I am. I am Lady White Chick of America. Yeah. Baby Boomer tail end. Boing! Because 1963 wasn't really Baby Boomer. Except that fathers and mothers still believed uh, children should be disciplined by the like spanking with a belt, with a hairbrush, with hard things, spanking us for being children, they still had a fucked up mentality in their head. They were messed up, and they were, they, that's why the pendulum swung, and we had the snowflake generation, who wants you to pitch to them, and they want you to like, why, why should I pick your services? What makes you so great? Um... You either recognize good stuff or you don't, pig. I'm not going to cast pearls to swine. You either know what I am or you don't. And if you know what I am, you're worthy of my abilities and my skill set. Which I don't even know is going to be, uh, I'll be able to do it. Cause I work very intimately with people. Closely. <laughs> Ah, and the breath is all part of it. Yoga, energy healing, you know. <laughs> so, where that's all going to go? You know, I've done distance. So, I might just be like, hey, I'm going to break out Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy if you need some distance healing because I, I've actually, like, manifested some healings. <laughs> so, look for this on Patreon. I use Raggedy Andy. Hi. Um, I, I use Raggedy Andy. <laughs> oh, for my um, healings with men I do and I use Raggedy Ann when I do healings for women and I do the very same Reiki things um, that I've done um, with formal teaching but did you guys know yeah I'm talking to you and you Somebody doesn't like Reiki out there, and they said it was evil. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think about that? I know. It's not, because it's intentionality. And I use it... I, I use it loosely. Like, I don't follow the exact patterning that I was taught. I follow a patterning of... um. of um, intuitive guidance, if you will. And I listen and I feel. So I feel tingly or I feel heat, I feel cold, I feel whatever. So this is what I have. So if you're interested in um, healing sessions in the future, I've got my buddies here that I use. They're childhood dolls. <laughs> Andy here, um, I got him first. And then I got Raggedy in later. And the, he used to have a music box in him. And I would listen and listen and listen to that music box in his back. 
and he had to have open heart surgery and it was removed. Mainly my brother, who should have become a surgeon, he wanted to dissect Andy because the music box no longer worked. So he said, what do you say we cut him open and take out his music box and then put him back together again? And I said, okay, that way I can see what his music box is like and why it's not working and maybe we can fix it. <laughs> okay. The operation failed. It failed. So, when subsequently I got Raggedy Ann, <laughs> I kept her music box. All right? Even though all she, all you can do is hear her gears going. It's like, mm, 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 mm. let's see if I can put it up to you. Yeah, she just sort of like, um, I'm not going to emphasize your downplay, um, I'm not going to emphasize your lack of, of um, attributes that were once gifted of you. I'll show them how much love you have. See? I love you. The heart. I love. Loving. That's what you were supposed to do now, everybody. <laughs> This, this is a time of loving, loving who you are, um, loving your plants, loving the earth, loving your life, and really recognizing the beauty that you have all around you, rather than freaking out about what you no longer have. You're going to treasure what you do have. Now, it's easier for introverts, so that's where I have to be kind and patient um, to, to my, my love because he is going through oh yeah Raggedy Andy has it on him too hey Raggedy Andy can I enter your top and show the world your chest <laughs> I already showed them your scars I know I know but they both still have perfect you know ginger hair and Raggedy Andy says it too I love you. I love you. I slept with him, so he's got all kinds of stains on him, like drool, you name it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, childhood. Ever since I was like seven or eight, right? This thing's 50 years old. No, I'm not selling it on eBay. <laughs> I love my raggedy. Yeah. My hair is almost dry, and we've been going for about, I can see now, almost 24 minutes. So that's a good little sit down and talk to you about coronavirus, um, COVID-19, because supposedly there were 18 others, and uh, this one's, no, no, sorry, 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 eight others, and this one's COVID-19? There were 18 others. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, here's how I look at that numerologically. If that's true, if this is the number 19 in this numero numerology, that 1 plus 8 um, is 9, and that's the goddess number, uh, which is... I'm not going to go there. This one is 1 plus 9, which is 10, and 10 is a 1. So it's up to you individually to rise to the occasion and be the fullness of yourself. Like, rise to the occasion, get your own shit together, and don't expect everybody to not go, woo, woo, I'm freaking. Look at it as a reset. But not everybody is going to be happy. People are going to be freaking, freaking, freaking. I'm not going to go into the financial strain. I'm not going to go into the service industry and all those poor waitresses and waiters and servers and uh, bussers and kids. I'm not. I'm not. Because this is, we have all been expecting some weird shit to happen in 2020, weren't you? This is it. Now step up to your plate and bat it out of the ballpark. Make a home run, which is no fear. No fear. See that? 
no fear. Just rest and relax, enjoy life. The Great Mother is with us, you know. These guys love each other. We're in it together. I'm in it with my guy. I'm going to love him as much as I can. Um, be patient with your loved ones. You're going to get to know them really, really well. They're going to get to know you. They're not always going to treat you well. They're not always going to understand what you're getting at. <laughs> They're not always going to look at this like, I don't understand how you see it that way. Yeah. Um, this is not the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. Toilet paper existed when? What year? We did, we did well enough without it. We found out ways of dealing with out toilet paper. People started eating out at restaurants when? They ate out at pubs. People didn't eat out. They couldn't afford that. The normal people aren't eating out, but I am quite sure the elite are still having their asses kissed by a select few. Who the fuck cares about them? <laughs> this is going to bite them in the ass. All those billionaires, they're not going to be making any money anymore. Ooh, that's terrible. <sighs> Who knows? Who knows? I'm not going to get into the finances because it's over my head, meaning I'm not interested in that aspect. I'm not going to talk it. Because if enough, if we all believe something has the same value, like it does, and we all know valuation is contrived and manipulated. Manipulated. Yes, the emperor's naked. The emperor's not wearing any clothes. Yes, things do have value. Some things do have true value. But what value do they have right now? Hotels don't have any value right now. <laughs> What's the Hilton going to do? <laughs> They're going to have a fantastic time importing all those aliens. Through their portals. <laughs> Have you heard about that? I don't know if it's true. I know. I never said Paris Hilton was a hybrid. I didn't. <laughs> but she sure acts like she's a queen. I'll tell you who's the queen and the king and the prince and all that. You! You are. You, know, you are. I am. We're the true royalty and we're the royalty of our own lives. Mm -hmm. We're the royalty of our own lives. We're the ones that control the ship. We, we, can, the, we control the relationship we have with our body. We control the relationship we have with our earth. And we control the relationship we have with the so-called virus. What it is, is a pandemonium. It's pandemonium. Stay clear of crazy people. <laughs> Don't become one yourself. Get outside and experience the sunlight. Put anything you'd like to sterilize in the sunlight. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Don't sue me. Yes, we still have to say that. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, powwow we've been having. Well, actually, it's me talking to you in space and time. And uh, may you enjoy this. Um, May you practice the art of conscious loving. May you practice the art of consciously resetting your life, recognizing it's not over, it's just different. Um, and may you find your heart's calling and tune out of hysteria and tune out of um, things that create palpitations in the heart. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like <clears throat> you don't need to go to virtual reality to find out reality. All you have to do is experience it. You don't need to log on to virtual reality to experience reality. Just, you know, experience it. 